What's up, everybody? My name is Justin. This is Forever Self Employed. Right now, I'm at the car wash. I just had to get the truck washed because I did a landscaping job yesterday. Now, the worst part about where I live is I got to keep all my landscaping stuff in the back seat. See, I got the backpack blower back there, the edge trimmers, all that kind of stuff. Just because if I leave it in the back of the truck, it'll get stolen. I wasn't close enough to go drop it off to where I usually keep all my equipment. So, all my stuff is within the back of the truck right now. It kind of smells like gas in here, but that's all right. Who doesn't like a little gas smell? So, I'm about to vacuum out of the truck and then we're going to go meet Austin. It is his wedding day. Which which is pretty incredible. I'm gonna go ahead and vacuum out the truck and then go meet up with them. All right, boys, this is who's getting married today, Austin. How do you feel, Austin? I feel great, I feel fantastic. Feel I feel, good. We did hot yoga this morning, so we're well rejuvenated. This is Ben. Hey, Ben, you wanna say hey to the vlog? You're gonna be losing your virginity really soon. Oh, God, don't put that in there. You're acting crazy. You wanna say hey to the vlog? Hey, guys, hey, vlog. What's up, man? Hey, guys, He's a hey, great vlog. guy. Beer has been served. Are those strippers? That seems a little inappropriate for Dang. the vlog. No, my Jaeger. Oh, Ben, that wasn't a good one. Good. What's up, you guys? Just got done bowling. Came back to the house to drop off all my equipment. Look at what I just found. So anybody who watched the last vlog knows that I bought this Ryobi one right here. This hedge trimmer. It was because I thought I lost this one. I thought I left this one on a job, but I didn't. I'm going to have to return this one, unfortunately. I hate doing stuff like that, but I got this one right here, so I don't need it. Really goes to show you that I need to keep everything in one place. I don't know how it got here because I don't have any other equipment here. I do want to let you guys know that this isn't going to be a very work-intensive vlog. It might be tomorrow. I'm not sure. But I really would just wanted to make these so I could better relate to my audience, so I could make more content, just kind of try some new things out. So if you like it, definitely hit the thumbs up button for me. I just want to let you guys know so you're not like disappointed. Anyway, I'm dropping off all the equipment because the truck smells like gas, and then I'm heading back over to Austin's and we are gonna go get dressed. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Sing like the choir, Chris. How do you feel? Are you nervous? I'm nervous just because I hate people like looking at me. Uh, and I'm nervous to what, what my reaction is going to be. Do you think you're going to cry? Oh, no, we'll see. Last interview before the wedding. Right. How do you feel right now? It's it's 12 minutes before the wedding. Is it getting real? It's getting real. Getting a little nervous, you know, head's hot. We're going to go out there and give it our best shot. God bless. That's great, thank you. Good night, everybody. What's up, you guys? So it's the next day. The wedding was absolutely crazy. We had a great time. Tons of fun with friends and not really my family. It's more Austin's family, but it was just awesome overall. It's time to get back to work. So I'm actually on my way to the shop right now. Uh, we're gonna go work on a truck for a little while, and then I got a bunch of other things that I have to do today. Also wanted to mention that I got a text yesterday from a guy that I've done his house like two, three years in a row, and he texted me and he said it's time to do it again. So I went ahead and put him on my book. I told you guys I'd be keeping you all up to date on all the quotes and all the jobs that I get. So this is where the recurring customers helps and that's where it comes in. So I uh, already got a job book for a day. Uh, we're going to run out and do his house. I also ran uh, two Facebook ads. I've been playing around with these Facebook video ads where I chop up all my pressure washing jobs, put them into a little Facebook ad and then put a little money behind them. So I got a text from a guy. He wants a quote. So that's another thing I have to do today is go give a quote for a pressure washer job. Just stopped off to do a quote for the guy who messaged me on Facebook earlier. He wanted me to do it on Google Maps. He was like, you don't even have to come by. Just look it up on Google Maps, which kind of gives me a feeling like he's not going to accept the quote. Plus, he's got a bunch of concrete, so I don't really think he's going to like my estimate, but we'll send it over anyway, and I will let you guys know what he says. Um, and usually, you can pre-qualify customers. Just the fact that he wanted me to do it over Google Maps, maybe he didn't want to meet up. I'm not sure. Seems a little bit weird to me. Usually people don't preface by saying, just look it up on Google Maps. They're like, hey, when can you come by and check it out? And you know, they like to meet me and ask me questions and things like that. So not sure if I'm gonna get this one. I'm gonna send them over the quote and I'll let you guys know if I do get it or not. Is this a flip truck, daddy? Yeah, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> 2005 Dodge Ram, 160, uh, 2000 miles on it. It was uh, dirty, been sitting up for a while. Girl said she needed to buy a um, uh, a car with a back seat. She's got a brand new baby. Got these uh, 20 inch rims from uh, a guy out of uh, Homa. Uh, the rims that were on here and the tires, they were just atrocious. Refurbished the headlights. Guys always asking, why don't y'all refurbish the headlights? These are refurbished. Clear coated the grill. Actually had to pull this front bumper out. The front bumper had uh, been hit and pushed it in. So when I put the 20s on it, it didn't quite fit. I didn't even notice this when I was looking at it earlier. Cleaned out super nice though. Let's check out the engine on it. It's got a 4.7 V8. It's a smaller V8. Oh man, look at the way that light shines off that V8. Inside, just need a little light uh, detail. You mean to tell me you're not gonna repair this seat in here? Yeah, 
I gotta tell you, it's gonna have to sell like that. Dash isn't split. Usually these dashes are dried out and split on here. Man, clean truck though. So my dad got this flip truck right here. He wasn't intending on flipping it. He was gonna keep it, but he got it for such a good price. We're gonna end up selling it. Cleaning it up right now. And then we're gonna go take some pictures for Facebook. And yeah, I'll keep y'all posted. What I'm gonna do is we didn't get to do a detail video on this one. However, I am gonna do a flipping cars for cash episode on this one. So be on the lookout for that. Pretty nice little Dodge Ram. If you guys are a fan of a particular make of truck, let me know which make is best. Ford, Chevy, Dodge, Toyota. Why don't they just line all these truck beds? It came with a nice little mat though. I picked up too, Brian. The bed's pretty good. Bed looks nice. My Momo actually has a car just like this. Still drives. How old is Momo? Momo's uh, 102. 102. <laughs> She's still out here driving. Come on, spin the tires. People to want to see that. It's hard to turn these 20s, man. Well, we're about to take pictures. This thing drops pretty well, too. What year is this? 2002? 2005. Five. Gotcha. Not a bad truck. $200 Craigslist rims. Those are not bad at all. Rims and tires for $200? Yeah. It's pretty crazy. All right, we're about to get some uh, pics so we can go ahead and post this one up. So these were the original rims that were on the Dodge Ram. And he just went ahead and changed those out for these right here. Two hundred dollars, a set of four, right there. Yep. Set of four. Good tread. He wanted three. He wanted three, and then I talked him down. So this one's got a little nick in it. So then he gave it to me for two hundred bucks. Oh, talked him down. Paid twenty five. No negotiations. Switched out rims and tires. And then what are we gonna ask for it? Fifty two. Fifty two. This be pretty sweet. Just wrapped up at the shop for the day. I want to give you guys a quick update on the Facebook quote that i did earlier for that guy so he texts me back and he says um we'll think about it and get back to you which could mean one of two things maybe they're gonna price shop on me or maybe the quote was too high maybe they do want to think about it i doubt it will i hear back from them i'm not sure but if i do i will keep you guys posted right now i'm gonna go ahead and run to the twinkie location the location that i almost lost over an expired twinkie i'm gonna go check on that and make sure everything's okay because i promised him that i would check on that location on a weekly basis because i was waiting about every two weeks to go check on it so i'm gonna run over there check on that and i'll let you guys know how that's looking also i wanted to mention that i started these vlogs specifically for that purpose to tell you guys about the jobs that i don't necessarily always get because it's not this like linear like you quote a job you get a job every single time and i'd like for people to know that because i think a lot of people just see me doing all the pressure washing work but they don't necessarily know what know what goes on on the back side so like a lot of time you spend money on advertising you spend time passing off flyers you don't always get the return that you want sometimes people don't accept your quotes sometimes people want to price shop you so this is a great opportunity for me to kind of show you guys that so We'll see if that guy takes me back. I'm not sure if he will. I did a quote a couple weeks back too, and um, I guess I was too high for the guy. He wanted to do it before Christmas, I believe, or before New Year's, one of those. And I never heard back from him, never texted me back or anything, which is really rude considering I took time out of my day to go look at the house, quote the job and everything else. So also, signals. The fact that he told me that you don't even necessarily need to come out, just look at it through Google Maps, basically saying, I'm not really that certain that I even wanna get this done. I just want to see what you're going to quote me. You have to look at that, you know? So I knew going in that it might not be a good shot that he was going to want to do it. Well, it's a great thing that I came and checked this out because the coin mech was jammed. There was coins all over the place. So went ahead and got that fixed. I'm not going to refill until a little bit later on this week just because they had enough product in there. It's just for some reason that coin mech just gets jammed and it messes everything up. So I got it fixed. Everything's working properly as it should. So it's probably a good thing that I came and checked it out tonight. Anyway, I'm going to wrap this up here. If you guys haven't already, make sure you hit the like button. Leave me something down in the comment section and subscribe to the channel for me. My name is Justin. This is Forever Self-Employed. And until next time, hustle hard and get that money, baby. Peace.